Oh look, a video game sequel adding unnecessary bollocks to the formula just to tick boxes rather than leaping off the original. That's surprising, isn't it? You might think I didn't like The Evil Within 2 Judgment Day by that opening, and you would be right. It is a game with poor pacing, a really messy plot, and bad characters. It is however tense. And that is mainly thanks to the combat. It is claustrophobic and panicky. Enemies swarm you relentlessly and it is usually smarter to run away to get some distance if you can. And the game seemed to reward me for approaching the combat smartly. Using stealth to thin out the herd first before going guns blazing makes it so much more manageable. And when I did cock up and alert the entire town to my presence, it always felt like I only just survived, giving me a weird sense of satisfaction. That was until I unlocked the stealth kill from cover skill, which pretty much broke the game. All I had to do is let an enemy spot me, get behind cover, and press X when they got close. The plot is Garbo. Main character Sebastian is sent into basically the Matrix to find his daughter and sort the Matrix out. Sounds simple enough, but there is so much bollocks that isn't explained, like why do some people have superpowers in here? Why do technicians need to go inside the Matrix to fix it? Bit of a design flaw that. How do the soldiers transport ammo and guns inside? What, is an M16's consciousness uploaded in? The game's get out of writing a decent world and plot card is the line spoken early on. There are no rules in this world. Get in the sea mate, if your game world has no rules then why is the player bound by a strict set of them? Why can I only carry a certain number of bullets and only sprint for a few seconds if there are no rules? Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. And main character Sebastian is quite the soggy queef. He is a generic ex-cop who reacts to absolutely everything that goes on around him by saying either, what the? or what the hell? When I saw that The Evil Within 2 Reloaded had an open world, I groaned and thought, of course it has, it's a video game sequel, and I just couldn't see the reason for having it at all. All it did was pad out the length between story missions. The second half of the game abandons it as if to say, yes, yeah, sorry, silly idea. Some of the side quests offer decent rewards and have mini plots, though they have the habit of sending you to one end of the map, then back again. Nice and tedious when there isn't fast travel. The story missions can also get tedious as well. Here's how the majority of the game goes. You walk down a corridor where the game tries to build atmosphere, then it does it even longer until you fall asleep, then something spooky that isn't even spooky happens, repeat phase one and two again, then you fight a couple of enemies and repeat. Occasionally there is a boss fight thrown in, but they are total twag. No interest in mechanics to them, just shoot them in the face lots of times whilst they soak up loads of damage. The game also constantly interrupts itself, ruining the pacing. Cutscene, take two steps, another cutscene. Exposition dumps over the radio, going back to Sebastian's safe house to improve his skills, then going back to the world again. Backtracking, loading screens followed by another loading screen, sections where the game reduces your movement movement speed for some reason. It does look good though, there are some really cool trippy moments involving the richly detailed environments, and the monster design looks beautiful. Notice there I said beautiful, not terrifying. When I want to get a good look at a monster rather than fleeing from it, something has gone wrong. Basically, Two Evil Two Within is pretty shite, and that is coming from someone who really likes the first one. It does what a shite sequel does, bigger but not better. I actually like the ending, I thought, ah, good, a nice way to to end the series, maybe make a sequel about completely different characters, but obviously you have to have the after credits scene to tease the next one, don't you? Can't wait for The Evil Within 3, revenge of the main villain from the first game who is mysteriously absent in this game.